Hi, this is Bob from Pluggable Technologies. What I'd like to do today is give a quick demonstration of a handy feature built into Mac OS that allows you to take still image screenshots of things on your desktop or even record video of actions you take on your desktop. Now, what I'm going to show you is only available for Mac OS version 10.14 Mojave and 10.15 Catalina. So let's jump right in. To access this feature, you press the Shift, the Command key, and the 5 key on your keyboard, and Mac OS brings up this little picker that allows you to pick which option you wish to use. If I hover over these options, by default it's saying that it's set to capture the entire screen, meaning if I click this capture button, it'll take a still image picture of everything on my desktop. I can change this to capture the selected window. For example, if I had a specific window open, such as a browser or another application to just take a picture of that, or I can capture a selected portion of the screen by drawing a box around the area I wish to capture and dragging the handles to resize it as necessary. So for example, if I wanted to take a screenshot of just what I've selected here and click the capture button, just a moment, I'll see a thumbnail image of that file that was created. And in a moment that will disappear and it should show up as a file on my desktop. Well, that's pretty handy. Let me bring that back up, shift command five. These options allow me to record the entire screen or record, again, a selected portion of the screen in a video. It even allows me, using the Options button, to even pick a uh, microphone to record audio along with this, useful for, say, recording demonstrations of certain tasks. So, for example, if I click Record now and, say, open up a, a web browser, I could you know, demonstrate accessing a certain website. And then when I was done, I can come up here and click the icon for the screen recording feature to stop it. And it creates a thumbnail again. And if I click on this thumbnail, it actually lets me review, let me close Firefox to get this out of the way, review the video I created. So I can play it back see the tasks that I was doing. But it also allows me to trim this. And that if I click this button, it then brings up this small selection dialog that allows me to cut portions off from the beginning of the video, as well as at the end of the video, and then click done. And I've got the trimmed video for use later. Hopefully you find that useful, and thank you for watching.